I see the reflection of the screen on my glasses. That's annoying. It's annoying to me. Is it annoying to you? If I go like that, now I look like I'm mad. Hey, this is Brick Czar. It's time for a video called Bats. Bricks are answer thingy. That's where I answer questions that you ask in a video form where other people can see it so that if they ask the same question, I can refer to them to the video or if it's a year from now, I forget and do another video. Either way, everybody has fun, and you get to see your name in the description of a video if I pick your question, so that's pretty cool. So this question comes from Graylin Brady. Graylin Brady, I'll copy that in the description below. He's, and this is a really good question, and you know sometimes people ask me the same questions, like, what's your favorite set? Wait a minute, make sure I can see it. What's your favorite set? Um, tell him Mardi Gras man that's my favorite set so Graylin asked a, a question I don't think I've seen this question before now I've gotten questions about like your favorite theme or your least favorite theme or your top five themes this question is what in your opinion is the most underappreciated Lego theme and I thought that's a pretty neat question because it doesn't have to be your favorite theme it's just which one is do you think is underappreciated? And the first part of it, I will do a theme that's no longer produced. There are a lot of themes that came and went. And as far as themes that are no longer present or they're not doing right now, I think, at least on my part, I don't know about the general population, that. The one that I underappreciated when it was in the stores was Adventurers. In particular, the Orient Expedition subset of the Adventurers thing. Those had some really cool pieces, and they were a lot of fun to build. I've been building most of the Orient Expedition sets now. and I got them because I wanted to get into the elephants. That's where you get the original elephants, and... They are really cool sets. Um, and I remember seeing them in the stores. And I was like, I don't It's not going to interest me. But I have found that sometimes something you think you'll like, when you actually build it, you're like, maybe not as great as I thought it was going to be. But other times you build something and you're like, whoa, this is cooler than I thought. Even some of the weird stuff I do, like the Scala and the Belleville, it... You're like, oh, that's for girls. But there are some really cool pieces in those sets. But as far as underappreciated past themes, I would say Adventurers. Um, I don't know how it did compared to other themes that failed. But I, that Adventurers theme was a really good theme. Now I'm going to go to, and I'm doing this without any pre-planning. I'm going to look at the themes, or thems as some people spell it. The themes... On Lego's website, you got architecture, castle, city, creator, superheroes, Disney, Duplo, friends. I'm skipping some of them like exclusives and bricks and more. Galaxy Squad, Hero Factory, Hobbit, Ideas, Juniors, Kingdoms, Chima, Lego Movie, Lord of Rings, Marvel Superheroes, Lego Academy, Mindstorms, Minecraft, Minifigures, Mixels, Monster Fighters, Ninjago, Serious Play, Junk. I mean, not junk, but Series Play is overpriced. Simpsons, Star Wars, Technic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Ultra Agent. That's all the themes on Lego's website. Which one of those is the most underappreciated? Well, everybody likes City, or a lot of people like City, Castle, it's got a good appreciation. I might. I'm looking at one in particular. Architecture, I would say, would be up there with underappreciated themes. Uh, I think sometimes the price point per piece turns people off, but 
I haven't built an architecture set that I didn't like. Now, I may not like how much some of them cost, but the architecture sets are cool. But I don't. I think they may be underappreciated. Galaxy Squad, and they're discontinuing that now. I underappreciated it. It was a lot better than I thought when I actually built one. And Lego Academy, Master Builder Academy. Um, those are three. And then, of course, Duplo. So those are my four finalists. Architecture, Duplo, Galaxy Squad, Lego Academy. As far as underappreciated. I put those four up there. And I guess I'd have to say architecture. I think architecture is underappreciated. Uh, but I think, and again, I think that goes back to the price. So, what do you think? That was my four. It was Architecture, Duplo, Galaxy Squad, and Lego Master Builder Academy. What do you think is the most underrated thing that Lego currently makes, or maybe one from the past? Those are my choices: Architecture, current themes, Orient Expedition, past themes. Again, this is all an opinion, so you can say whatever you want. That's pretty cool. So. Let me know. This could be a good discussion. I don't know. Good question, Graylin. I like the question. Good question. So, thanks for watching this Brickzar Answer thingy. Time to make another one. And this is where I click the thing that turns the video off.